Hello everybody, it's Dr. Sasheen of Dr. Sasheen Mobley Consulting. Welcome to Tuesday. So hopefully you caught the amazing interview I did with Leslie Flowers on Inner Critic yesterday. There's a link to it on this page. It is amazing. Some really good stuff in there. I'm already going to go back on again. In fact, I got to get that scheduled so that we can do round two. Like it was, we dropped some serious knowledge, some good pearls of wisdom and some practical advice on how to tell the difference between when your inner critic is talking to you and when you're intuition is talking to you. So I highly recommend you get over there and talk about it or get over there and listen to it. So, oh, I do not own the rights to this music before y'all start asking me. It's Bruno Mars in the background um, because I'm feeling like pumped up today. I want to talk about the Met Gala. Oh my gosh, I love the Met Gala. It was so fantastic. Um, But I want to talk to you about what the Met Gala and Game of Thrones actually has to do with your tribe. Now, I love the Met Gala, but I love over-the-top pageantry. I love those kinds of things. But here's what I have to say about the, the buzz surrounding the Met Gala and the buzz surrounding Game of Thrones. Like, I don't watch Game of Thrones, so if there are any Game of Thrones people out there, I'm not going to spoil this for you. I don't even know what's happening. But what I do know is this. On Facebook, right, or on Instagram or on Twitter, you can just see the back and forth of camps of people who are Game of Thrones aficionados or the Met Gala followers or people who are just really passionately into something and they just like it. And no doubt, out of the woodwork, like clockwork, there will be people who are like, Sorry, I don't like Game of Thrones. Well, I mean, it's a bra. I don't like Game of Thrones or the Met Gala is stupid and it's just this. And so this is a lot of like the reflection of the people that you surround yourself with, right? Like when you love something, like when you really are passionate about something and you need cheerleaders, what happens is that sometimes people in your tribe be- decide to become your critic instead. You shouldn't want to do that. You shouldn't like that. You shouldn't love that. If you watch any of the Met Gala, this year's theme was camp. And I mean, it was campy. Come on, y'all. Cardi B, that dress was off the chain. But it takes a level of people around you to recognize that sometimes you're going to have an idea that they may not be completely 100% sure is going to work, but they've got your back. And that's what I see happening a lot with like the people, the comments on the Met Gala and the comments about people who love Game of, Th- Games, Game of Thrones or anything else is that when you are surrounded by folks who have your back, you can love the thing that you want to love and embrace it and and make it work for you. You think Cardi B wasn't laughing all the way to the bank last night because that gown got so much attention today? The same thing with Janelle Monae, the same thing with so many other amazing, beautiful people yesterday were just fantastic. They laughed all the way to the bank today. So their critics or detractors on TV tonight, today trashing them, they're laughing all the way to the bank. Same thing with Game of Thrones aficionados. People who love that series, they're laughing on their couches at those of us who just don't care. We keep it to ourselves. But those who want to trash them, they just ignore it. Think about your inner circle. Think about your tribe of people. When you have an idea that may be over the top or out there or just they don't get it, do they love you through it? Do they allow you to get up on that horse and ride it and see what happens? Or are they just determined to pull you down? Are they determined to dismantle your dream to keep you small, keep you safe so that they don't have to change? It's really important to take a look at who you are surrounding you with. You cannot achieve a purpose, a passion, or anything in this lifetime if you have people in your tribe, your inner circle, whose main goal in life is to keep you small. So if you are basking in the glow and also, hey... Let me just put it all out there today. I'm also a royal watcher, and I'm excited that there's a new little baby royal in the world to the first biracial couple over in England. All of that is important. All of that is fun. All of that is necessary. And if you don't have a tribe of people around you for whom you can express and love something that they actually couldn't care less about, but they support you, it's time to call the tribe. It's time to look around you and say, I want to achieve great things in my life and I need to be surrounded by people who want to help me achieve great things. And if there are people in that circle who you say, They never do. They always want to tear me down. That's your key to get rid of them. Sometimes a friendship has come where it can. A relationship has brought you where it can. A marriage has brought you where it can. A number of, you know, some people who came with you cannot go with you. And if you watch what's happening... If you watch the fallout behind any major event that happens at any point in time, you can kind of see the microcosm of what's happening on the larger scale around things like the Met Gala or Game of Thrones or Royal Watching in your own life. Anytime you want to do something different, 
if there's a detractor in the bunch, you need to get rid of them. Because let me tell you something, you can always find someone who's going to be your critic and your inner critic is the worst of all. It is difficult in this lifetime to find cheerleaders. And when you find them, hang on to them because they will go with you to the next level. All right, that's it for me on Teaching Tuesday. Again, if you didn't catch yesterday's talk with uh, Leslie Flowers, we talked a lot about the inner critic and how to understand what's a critic and what is your actual intuition speaking to lead you in the right direction. That talk is on fire. It is a powerhouse talk. The link is to it um, on the page. Please feel free to watch it, share it, give a comment, leave a question. I'm happy to answer and I will see you all very soon. Again, if you are into the Met Gala, it was so great. And if you're into Game of Thrones, I don't actually watch it, but I heard it was really a cliffhanger. And yes, we're watching for that baby name to come. So this is Dr. Sasheen signing off. Bye.